What's up, Paracruz? I'm Paradomics, and welcome back to what may be the last video for, for Ant. But anyways, we found out that the security guard is part of the... Fuck. The security guard is part of the... The area here. And he was a painting. And so everything wants to kill me. Get me now. Everyone's on high alert. And I don't know why there's this flickering. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, at least, at least I know that going there is pointless. Okay. And also, I don't get... I like how this is went to a creepy game, and then now it's playing, like, cheerful, heroic music. It's like, oh my god, we did it. Ooh. Oh, and all the areas are mixed now. Is that the clay monster again? Oh my god, it's the fucking clay monster. Oh my god, fuck you guys. Okay, that one is. That guy's only chasing me. Oh my god! Ah! Really? It's the clay monster? Oh my god, he was actually chasing me now. Oh, what? Uh? Okay, so for some reason the game's difficulty went to Dark Souls level. Fuck. Okay, so those guys get start chasing me if I get too close to them. So fuck you. Fuck everything you stand for. Oh my god, the clay monster's stuck. Come here. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, no, all the way here. That's right, that's right. Yeah. yeah Alright. Bye, failure. <laughs> Fucking loser. Thank God it's just him. Oh, nice try. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you. Anna said she's going to kill us if we don't bring you to her. This tis, Mr. Security. You really done it this time. No more games. It's all pain now. And let me handle this. Yeah, fuck him up, Mr. Security. Oh, wait. Out of my way, you've asked for this. Get lost! Tisk. That all you got? Out of my way. Just give up already. Scram! Mr. Security, why are you helping her? Yes, why? All of us are going to die if you keep persisting, including you. Enough. Do you want to be trapped here forever? Don't you want to get out of th from this place? I want to, but that's not possible. Yeah, that's not going to work. We are permanent residents of the school. I know that. I thought it was impossible too. Until Anne and I learned that there's actually a way to appease Han and lift her curse from the school. Huh? Really? How? Yes, it's possible. The principle is the key. Everything that's happening in this school is now is because of the principal. The principal? I don't understand. You don't have to. Just let us through and we will bring this nightmare to an end. Should we fail, we will surrender ourselves without resistance to you. Hannah, you have my word. I, I want to get out of here. I can help you distract Hannah and buy some time. Me, me too. If there's really a way to get out of here, then I will, and I won't stop you. Heh, thank you. Let's go, Hannah. I can't believe my bluff actually worked. Alright, Anne. What are we looking for here? What? You don't know yet? Oh well, I'll let you do your thing. Let me know if you need help, okay? In the closet! 
After recovering position, you find a name card belonging to the principal among the rest of the stack. The principal's phone number is written on the back of the card. Oh, we got the principal's name card. Just look here. We have to get the principal in here and fuck him up. We need to get him killed, you know? Phone. Pick your phone and dial 911. No response. You try dialing other numbers too, but it's all the same. Try dialing the principal's phone number. Hello? What the? Who is this? Who the hell's calling me at 3 a.m.? A man. So, what the hell do you want? I'm in school. What? Are you serious? Don't you know about the 9 p.m. school room? Wait. If you're in school right now, that means. Shit, shit, shit. Why did you stay in school after 9 p.m. in the first place? Wait. How did you get my number? My office? I thought it was locked. Then why didn't you call the police first? No, don't call the police. That will just complicate things even further. Ugh, fine, I'm coming. Just wait there, okay? Man, what's going on? He's coming here? For real? Oh wow, that was easier than I thought. So, what do we do now? Right, let's go. Yes! We tricked him to coming here. So that's the plan. Simple enough, right? Woohoo! Let's do this! Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure of it. Whatever happens with the principal after that is up to hand. Is that him? Yes, that's him. That's the principal. He really is here. Alright, Anna. You know what to do. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey! Are you the one who called? Hello? Answer me! I don't have time for this! Not another step, huh? Who are you? What the? Sorry, Principal. <laughs> principal. Ah, no. No. Is everyone all right? Yes. What happened to them? I don't know. Everyone, thank you. The principal will get his punishment. I am sorry for everything. I hope you'll forgive me. Farewell. Huh? My body? Did we... Yes. I don't feel her presence in the school anymore. We did it. Yes! We really did it! We are free! I can't believe it. We can finally leave this place. The nightmare's finally over. We can go home now. Yay! Thank you, everyone. You have no idea how much this means to me. I, I can't thank you guys enough. I know this is sudden, but I have to go now. My parents, they must have been worried sick about me. Mom! Dad! Hey guys, sorry for back then. It's okay, Charles, you were under Hannah's influence. I know, still. Thank you very much. I really thought I would be trapped here forever. I'm going now. You should get going too. Hannah gone? This place will disappear soon. See ya. Okay. It's finally over, huh? Like you said, Hannah's curse has been lifted. The school will return to normal soon. And... I'll escort you to the exit. Let's go. Yeah, and he can't leave because he's part of the school. There it is. That's the exit, Dan. We did it. What a journey. And? What will happen to me? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's get you out of here, Anne. 
once morning's come, I will turn back into a painting again, just like all the other artworks. Anne, you know I can't come with you. No worries. If you miss me, we can meet at a Campus 2 exhibition hall. I'll be there all day for your public viewing. <laughs> Aww. Be a good girl and stay safe out there, okay? Hmm? Selfie? What's that? Look at the lens? Which one's the lens? <laughs> wow, that's a portrait painting of us. That's very interesting. Such a small device capable of doing that. Aw, look at that! That's the first time Anne ever smiled like ever! Huh? There was an error saying the same, so I'll try again later. That's weird. Man, you have to get out of here now! Don't worry about me. I'll remember our time together. I won't forget you. Take care of yourself out there, okay? Goodbye, Anne. Aww. It's very sad. I mean, I knew he couldn't leave because he was part of the paintings there. Huh? You can't remember what you were doing. Hey, someone else just came out from school. What the? Another person? You were confused and tried to recall what happened. As much as you tried, you failed to remember anything that happened over the past few hours? What have both of you done to me? As I've said, I've done nothing to you. I was just as clueless as you are. The last thing I remember was I was doing some fashion assignment at my, at, at my class. I Then I think I fell asleep. And somehow I ended up outside of school, just like you. I don't know her, and I certainly don't know you. What about you? What were you doing in school? You were asleep in your classroom? Is that all? That's weird. That's what I remember too. I was doing some assignment, then I fell asleep in the classroom. Maybe one of you, one of the staff carried us outside while we were sleeping. That's why we can't remember anything other than sleeping in the class. Oh, we forget everything? Look. All of us are broke. All of us broke the school rules. So let's just call it a day and go home, okay? I'm not going to report any of you. So both of you better not snitch on me. Fine, whatever. Bye. You were such a nice person when you were a ghost. Tch, what the hell's her problem? Hey, you should get going too. We're going to be in huge trouble if someone from school sees us here. Why can't I remember anything? Next morning, the DAA, Delta Academy of Arts. Like I said, I have no idea what happened to me. I was missing for how many days now? Oh, there's the dead body. It's been decomposed for God knows how long it's been there. Missing or escape, where is he now? Scandals, allegations, lawsuits, and more and many more students. Oh, wow. Several months later. <sighs> and was it? Thank you for waiting. Unfortunately, there's a problem with our internet connection. Can I go to Campus 2 instead? You can still pay the school fees at the administration office located in Campus 2. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Fucking bitch ass, rude ass, dumb ass. Oh, Anne, what's up? Yeah, it's been a while, huh? Me? I'm fine. It sucks having to repeat a year, though. The police are still investigating our case, but there's really nothing to investigate. Still, I can't believe I was missing for over a year. 
I thought it was a prank at first, but there was a, even a wanted pers poster, and everyone said it was the truth. Like, what the hell? The same thing happened with Myra. That makes me wonder, Anne. The three of us were in the school that night, and you're the only one who hadn't gone missing. What the hell really happened that day? Ah, sorry, me and my musing again. <laughs> Anyways, you have a thing to do? Alright, see you around. Oh, Anne, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. It's been a crazy school year, huh? This principal scandal, the body in the basement, the unsolved mystery of how in the world did I go missing for an entire year? It's really hard to take in at first, but it, it's the reality. I have to repeat the year. The same goes for Charles. The music playing at a piano. Right there was my... No, never mind. It's a beautiful piece, isn't it? And do you think we went through a cryostasis or some kind of hibernation process that night? I mean, the last thing we remember was sleeping in our classroom, so maybe, you know? Maybe there was more secret that the principal's hiding from us. I can't think of any other logical explanation. Huh, <sighs> never mind. See you around, Anne. Can I help you? Are you here to admire this ugly statue too? Sorry, that was mean. I'm an alumnus of the sculpting department. I came here to collect some stuff that I left last year. Hey, you heard the news, right? Turned out the statue was chosen by the principal because the student who made it slept with him. This spot should have been for my statue. My flawless. My statue was flawless. I, I knew something was off. Sorry, please just ignore me. Oh. Hannah. Hmm? What are you looking at? Have we met before? Nope, I don't think so. Me? I'm Clara. I'm the alumnus from the traditional painting department. What am I doing here? It's none of your business. What a bitch! What a fucking bitch. 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 Oh. That little uh, girl looks important for some reason. What's the security guard? Oh wow. Was it really based off a real person? Or then it's not just in the game? The paint the painting entire said security. Somehow looking at it makes you feel sad. Unsafe how has been recovered. Huh? Who is this? When did I Wait. What? <gasps> she remembers everything. Yay! Oh, that's sad. That would be sad if she doesn't actually remember. Yeah. Aww. It's a nice heartwarming ending. And a hey. wrong, wrong, Jason Hitch. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, just one. Oh my god, two people did that. Q&A and proof readings. Long description. Japanese for the Oh yeah, there's like a Japanese version of this. They should make this into an anime. <laughs> oh my god, is that... Uh, the hanging man. <laughs> hey, thank you for playing. Oh, hey everyone, Jason Wrong, Jason H Wrong Wrong here. 
If you want to support the game, please consider checking out the digital art. Oh, there's a DLC. I guess it's like the way you can pay content for this. Wow. All right. So, anyways, that was Anne. That was amazing. Uh, I like I like that it. Okay. Here's the thing that I applaud it for. I applaud it for not being one of those um typical RPG horror games where if you interact with almost every single thing, at some point it's gonna kill you. Like because some RPG games that I played back then usually it's like you don't know what to do. Like when you're done with this, and then there's areas that you can go back to and come back to, you know. And then you can't do anything in that certain area, so you have to do something else. And once you're done with that, you have to return to that area. You see? So that game games like those require you to interact with every single object that you've touched. And when you've interacted with something and you have no idea what to do, you start doing you start interacting and revisiting certain areas. And then I don't know why, but for some reason in the RPG horror games I played, when that occurs, for some reason they'll put some random deaths, like a cheap shot. Like there was even no warning, like no warning or no indication that you're going to die if you interact with this object. It will outright just kill you for no reason. Outright for, I mean, I guess for the sake of, oh, you've interacted with this, now you're dead. And I applaud it for not being like that. You know, it's it, it's not one of those games that just outright kills you. I mean, there's one. There was one. And then, he, wrong, wrong, never did it again. And then I applaud for that, you know? I mean, it was a very straightforward game. There wasn't really... It wasn't really that difficult. I guess the difficult part was, like, trying to walk and trying to time it perfect. And my dog is... Now it's just, dog's trying to come in here because my brother didn't close the door properly all right so yeah it, it was basically an out it's just like an outright straight story and i don't know if there's multiple endings i feel like there is yeah like you take the key and then you turn around instead of inter opening the locker excuse me opening the locker and leaving or you take the key and then while the security guard's still unconscious you go back and use the key on that door and then leave but you won't remember anything and you wouldn't have you couldn't you wouldn't free Myra would have still been missing Charles would have been missing and you all would have no memory of what happened and the principal would have gotten away with it you know so yeah in this one the justice is served the principal got what he deserved and died and everything else is good it's a great ending you, we got our memory back we remembered Toby, his name's Toby. I know I'm not saying security. I'm calling him Toby. And Toby's fucking badass. We'll beat the shit out of everything. And then I like how the fact, like everything else, was just like, um, all the monsters there were attacking Anne, but when it comes to Toby, they're like, "Hey, Toby, what's up?" It's like, "Hey, Toby, where's that girl?" Hey, Toby, what's going on, Toby? And Toby's just like, "Fuck you." Like bro breaks them, like destroys them, just like just to protect Anne. And then they're all there begging for their life, telling him not to kill them, and he's still like beating the shit out of them, you know. Because Toby was part of them. They were caught off guard. They they knew they were like, Toby, what what's going on with you? <laughs> it's like you're one of us. What are you why are you doing this? So and then Toby's like, uh, I gotta protect the girl, uh, you know. Die. <laughs> So yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Um, so yeah, yeah I, I like it too. I, I again, what impressed me here is like the cutscenes. Like, not a lot of RPG horror games do cutscenes, but this one though, this was an exception. There were cutscenes here. Uh, there weren't really that much of a jump scares. Uh, this was supposed to be a horror game, but there wasn't really that much of a horror game, mostly because. Uh, the jump scares just kind of stop or like we're not like outright jump scares more like when you see something in a corner of your eye and then it disappears those things freak me out as you can see charles actually scared me when i went up to the coat and then he just like jump up and was like what the fuck like something that was 
that was supposed to be there just disappeared. That th that's the thing that scares me. But at this point, everything just like completely stopped being scary. Like as soon as you were supposed to be in this area where you're all alone and then nothing is, and then you you're supposed to be helpless. And then there's this scene when you play as when you're with the security guard, you feel like I don't feel that scared at all because I, I I'm with some I'm with a security guard, someone who makes me feel safe, and outright protected man not to mention he's fucking powerful too he can like beat the shit out of a lot of things even the pianos that were trying to kill me so i didn't really feel feel helpless i just felt like i don't know it wasn't really scary it's not really scary at the when you meet the security guard the fear factor just like disappears the only thing you're afraid of or you would be afraid of if you're like jumpy you're the like the cheap jump scares i guess but yeah so it wasn't really much of a horror game, more of it's like a puzzle game or just like a story game. And for the puzzles though, I just I gotta say the puzzles were not bad. The puzzles aren't bad. It's simple, but not really that difficult that will like um confuse the hell out of you. It's basically patterns and memorizing movements. The thing that <laughs> makes this game difficult though is, is, is like the game's really really good at is being difficult. Like the chase scenes aren't just go forward, run away from this. There's chase scenes that literally makes you think and what to do next and you gotta be careful with what you do or else you're fucked, you know? And then the boss fights, and eh, it wasn't really much of a boss fight. It's more of like run away. That's it. That's all you do. You run away. And there wasn't really much of a fight. I mean, that's the point of every horror game. When you're a helpless girl, you or a helpless person, not just a girl, you you know, you just run away from something you can't beat. And yeah. It's like that. But eh. Again, the the thing here that really stands out is just the difficulty. Like how how I struggle to just run away from somebody and it's, Making it like, what the fuck is this? All of a sudden, it was so easy with the puzzles, but the chase scenes, the chase scenes are so difficult. But, you know, it is what it is. I got it, though, and I still love the game. It's still a nice game. But yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say for this game. Uh, also, some of the musics, like, the music really doesn't make you feel scary. <laughs> scared, too. There's like, when you meet Charles, for some reason, there's this music playing like, and Charles looks so fucking terrifying. But, whatever. It is what it is, I guess. But yeah. So anyways, that was Anne. If you guys want to try this game out and see if there's like a secret ending, uh, feel free to download. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to download. It's free. Uh, you can you can you can download it for free and it doesn't take that much space too. I'm surprised Wrong Wrong made this like, I think it was like f six months, half a year when he was making this, and he's finally out. And it wasn't that bad for his first game too. It was inspired by um the witch's house, so I guess the chase scene there, where it's being cha where the chase scenes being so difficult, was clearly inspired by the witch's house. How that fucking chase scene at the end there was bullshit, but yeah. So far, that's, that's really all. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Wrong Wrong for making this game. And if you like the video, thumbs up the like button to death. Become a parker today and I'll see you guys in the next video.